Okay, listen, what if I told you there is one rule that you're not following that could potentially be the root cause of 80% of your problems as a starter developer? And I'm not even trying to clickbait you right now. There's actually scientific evidence for this. What I'm about to tell you is actually true, especially for starter developers. And I'm sure that if you just follow this one rule, then your progress will be exponential. What is this number one rule you might be asking? I'll tell you in a minute, but first, let me tell you a quick story. All right, so back when I was 16, when I first tried to learn how to code games in Roblox, I really didn't know what to learn where to start or anything really so naturally i just started trying to learn all this different stuff like how to make a fireball script how to make a run script how to make a m1 system it was kind of useless back then i was trying to get all this information from different sources to put them back together later for a game and the worst part is that even after i had already started watching a full scripting basics tutorial i would sometimes instead of watching the next episode of the coding playlist that date i just researched something else like how to make whatever it's not relevant really and i'm telling you if you're doing this right now i'll just say it's useless like honestly no i'm not even trying to sound serious i'm actually serious it's useless it wasn't until i understood the rule that i'm about to give you right now that i actually started making a lot and when i mean a lot i really do mean a lot of progress as a scripter the rule that i'm about to give you does not work only for scripters it works for any skill in game development and the rule that i'm talking about is the 80 20 rule also called the pareto principle this principle or rule suggests that 80 percent of your output comes from 20 percent of your input now hold on i know that might have sounded a bit confusing but let me explain bro okay don't leave yet <laughs> so basically what this means is that 80 percent of your results come from 20 percent of your actions the evidence for this phenomenon is actually very strong so strong in fact that the principle has been observed to be occurring in things like wildfires and earthquakes these are natural phenomenons bro <laughs> There is a whole bunch of evidence and case studies that back this up, by the way. You can go search it right now and you'd see how strong the evidence and science behind this is. Okay, so how does this apply to game development? In the story I told earlier, I told you I was doing all this useless stuff, right? Directing 100% of my energy and time to a lot of different things, the majority of which were not even relevant at the moment. Trying to learn all this specific stuff, you want to know what's crazy? Once I identified the relevant 20% of things that I had to do and refocused all my energy and time into it, I later didn't even need the videos to learn those things or put them together. I just figured it out really quickly on my own. My learning progression as a game developer, specifically specifically scripting went through the roof exponentially there is great value in identifying what's the one two or three most important things and just focusing on that and this is not just for game development you can use this principle for any part of your life hell it's not even a new concept apparently great people in the past have used this emperor marcus aurelius one of the wisest and most virtuous people to walk the face of the earth once said do less so that you can do more and this really can't be further from the truth. Other famous people like Samurai Master Miyamoto Musashi also believed in embracing simplicity and eliminating distractions so you can focus yourself on the essentials. Hell, even modern people like Steve Jobs had a quote that went, simplicity and focus. Older philosophies have one thing in common. They identify the essentials, which are a lot less than you'd think, and they work on the essentials relentlessly. Back then, me doing less so I could do more meant stop worrying about making all this useless stuff that I was trying to make and that would have turned out awful anyways, and just focusing on mastering the basics to such a level that I could just come up with ways on how to do stuff on my own later. For you, if you're a bit more advanced, it might mean putting all your efforts into projects or one project. For others, it might be expanding their network. It all depends on what stage of development you're at right now. Now, if you don't know what dev stage you are currently at, I actually made a video a while back that is going to help you identify it clearly where you are. And I also mentioned what the focus of each dev stage is. So go watch the video after this one. It's in the card on one of the screen corners. Okay, so the video pretty much ends here, but I got a quick announcement. As of the time of me making this video, I got around 800 subs. When we get to 1K, I will be creating a Discord server for the community and what's actually interesting is that i will be helping you one or two days a week with development calls of course they're gonna be for free <laughs> i should mention that um they're gonna be free definitely stay tuned for that and yeah i'm looking forward to meeting you bro anyways that's all i have for today keep leveling up be safe and i'll see you when i see you peace